G'day legends, thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Andrew and as you can tell from the title of this video before you clicked on it, today I'm talking about my personal top five favorite YouTube channels to watch. Um, so I just wanted to start off first of all by saying a massive thank you to two of the creators on this list. I did reach out to everyone beforehand and sought permission to use just some little clips dispersed throughout this video just to break it up so it's not just me sitting here talking to the camera telling you about YouTube channels. Um, so I reached out to Adam Swords and producer Michael and I received permission from them to use the clips. Um, everyone else I've put as many links to as many different things as I can down below. I haven't used anyone's audio. Uh, it's me talking over the top of everything. Um, so I just wanted to start off by saying a massive thank you to Adam and to Michael for both giving me permission to use uh, a little bit of footage in this video. So that is exactly where I'm going to start the video is with Adam Swords and producer Michael. Um, so these are two separate channels, so they make up two out of the five, um, but they are intertwined because Adam is actually the videographer for the producer Michael channel. Uh, and the, the, the way that I found producer Michael, most people find him because they're searching Rolexes and Ferraris and Beverly Hills mansions and real estate and this kind of stuff. That's how they find him. I actually found producer Michael through Adam's channel. So uh, this is a quick little story about how I found them. Um, so a couple years ago, I was doing some research for my first ever holiday to Los Angeles from here in Australia. Uh, and basically was just watching anything I could find on YouTube that had the word Los Angeles in it. Um, you know, top five food lists, top five bar lists, you know, the best of Manhattan Beach, Santa Monica, Hollywood, Echo Park, Silver Lake, any neighborhood sort of info or any to-do list that there is to do with Los Angeles. I have pretty much watched it. Uh, and that's how I came across Adam's channel. Um, he had a video, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was similar to like a top five things to do when you visit Los Angeles. Um, and as he is an out of towner, he's from the UK. He sort of had like a unique perspective on the town, uh, which resonated with me. And he's also around my age and he's got some tatties on his arms like me. So I, uh, you know, like I immediately identified with, with Adam and his content, like the, the, the video that he made for the Los Angeles one was like really super well shot, great quality, um, and his personality was great. So once I finished that video, I went back and started watching some of his other stuff and saw his, you know, like car videos and um, really, you know, just enjoyed all of the content that he made. Um, he's got like a really good rapport with the camera and I just really liked his content and you know, the quality, the, the, the production uh, was really good top notch as well. So I subscribed and you know, obviously went back and watched as many of his videos as I could. And he's, he was always referencing Michael this or producer Michael that talking about the producer Michael channel. And it turned out after watching a few of his videos that, you know, I sort of figured out that he was a videographer for another much larger channel. So I chucked, producer Michael into the YouTube search bar and started watching Michael's content and wow, like Michael's world is mind blowing. So Michael is a very successful music and reality television producer and he makes content which basically gives the, you know, the normal person like myself an insight into the life of the super rich. Um, he, you know, he's always forever buying watches on Rodeo Drive. He's got Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Range Rovers, uh, you name it. If it's loud and it's fast, he's probably got one. Um, and that doesn't it's just apply to cars as well. He wears very loud shirts. He's got a very distinct fashion style, um, very over the top and, um, his personality is just fantastic. Like you could expect someone that's worth as much money as he is to be an absolute D bag. Um, but he's not, he's actually a super humble, warm and hilarious person. Like 
the rapport that he's got with Adam is just fantastic. Um, and they're a very unlikely pairing as well. I mean, Michael is a super wealthy guy who's, um, sorry if you're watching this, Michael, I don't like to assume, but I assume Michael's in his late fifties. Um, and you know, he comes from that, that world of just, you know, like people who are rocking $40,000 Rolexes in their $500,000 Rolls Royce driving out of their $20 million mansion in Beverly Hills. Um, so it's got that element contrasted with the fact that Adam, his videographer, is a guy who's in his 30s, um, you know, he's got some tattoos, uh, looks a bit rough around the edges, but actually isn't, actually looks, you know, seems like a pretty good dude. Um, and so you've got like this kind of like a, a, you know, like a nerdy, geeky dad kind of vibe going on, like with, you know, like Adam calling Michael out for some of the, you know, the silly, funny things that he does. And they just make a really good pair. And um, Michael and Adam put content out every week, every Tuesday, Australian time around about five or six o'clock, which I think must be midnight Monday time or something US. Um, so you can rely on new content from them every week. Uh, and both of their channels, I've been consuming both of their stuff for, you know, two and a half years now. Um, but especially over lockdown, having those videos to look forward to every Tuesday, every week, um, it's not as corny as it sounds. It helped me get through a really tough year for me. Um, I lost my job and was sat on the couch for six months and Michael and Adam really helped me through it. Uh, so. I've got some other, another fun video idea that I want to do later on in the year um, that is centered around producer Michael. Uh, it's pretty ambitious, uh, so keep posted for that. Hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see something hopefully pretty cool that I'm going to put together towards the end of the year. But once again, massive thank you to Adam and Michael. Thank you very much, guys, for letting me use the content. Um, and if you guys watching have never seen either of them, I've got links to both of their channels down below um, and a couple of videos from each who I think, you know, ones that stand out for me that I think you might like as well. So thank you, Adam and Michael. Adam, if you ever come over to the Gold Coast in Australia, jet skis, craft beer and sunshine and waves is on me, mate. So thank you very much for letting me do this and hope to see you down under. If not, hope to see you when I'm over in LA. All right, on to the next channel. Okay, number three on my top five YouTube channel list is Martins Lisi's. Now, if you've never heard of Martins before, he is the reigning world's strongest man. He is a strongman athlete. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I actually go to a strongman gym here on the Gold Coast in Australia. I go to Coco's gym. Uh, and yeah, I do strongman stuff as well. Martins is the, the reigning world's strongest man for that sport. And the thing that I really love about Martins and his channel is that he's got real character um, and he's really genuine. Not to say that any of the other guys um, that do have channels aren't genuine. It's just that I feel a lot of their content is very repetitive. Um, you know, it's how much I ate this day, you know, like it's, it can, you know, training for this, training for that. Um, while Martin's content is obviously he's a strongman athlete and the world's strongest man. So there's a lot of strongman training and stuff in his videos. It's not as analytical and robotic feeling, if that makes sense. Um, he's a very warm, funny, genuine person. Uh, and he's a little bit of a nerd um, and he listens to metal. So ticking all of the boxes for me, uh, he and his videographer Romark make a really good team and they just put out some really cool videos, just doing rad stuff, whether it's just hanging out by the beach, doing some pistol squats or something in the sand dunes or creating their own gym as they have done. And that, that's very recent. Um, they've just opened up a gym in El Segundo in Los Angeles uh, called wreck -It Gym. So that's going to create some, some pretty cool content. I actually can't wait until COVID's over so I can get over there. Uh, when I stayed in LA two years ago, I stayed in the South Bay area. I love it down there. So it'd be cool to go to El Segundo 
and lift some logs, throw some stones around, possibly give Martins a cuddle. Um, yeah, just go and watch his stuff. He's, he's really cool, really laid back, um, and actually hilarious. So number three on my list was Martins Lisi's. I've got links to all of his stuff down below, YouTube channel, a video or two, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Go and check him out. Number four on my list is a discovery that I made during 2020 and the whole lockdown period on my couch, uh, and that is Bryce and Haley. So Bryce and Haley are a couple from Minnesota in the US, uh, which is North Midwest, I guess. Um, and they're just really warm, funny, extremely positive, happy couple, and they go on rad adventures together. Um, so they're in their, I'd say, mid twenties, um, and ha Haley is actually an ambassador for a bracelet company. I can't remember what the bracelet company is called, um, but they basically started doing a lot of their travel vlogs around the retreats and things that Haley would go to with this bracelet company, um, and then from there they sort of expanded into doing a lot of travel videos. Um, but the stuff that I really enjoy from them is the videos that they make just driving their, their combi, VW combi van and their other trucks and vans and stuff just around Minnesota, going to the lake, going camping. Um, they're just, it's, they're really, they're really cool, genuine couple and watching their videos just makes me really happy and warm inside. Um, and that was something I really needed over lockdown. So. Um, the other really cool thing is that Bryce is actually a sick skater. Um, so a lot of the places that they go to, he's always got a skateboard in the van and will bust the board out and go, you know, if they go past a skate park, he goes down and he's actually pretty good. Um, and they've got a couple of recurring characters on their channel as well. So Haley's brother, Wes, who's actually an amazing, uh, photographer and, um, musician as well. Uh, he's on a lot of their videos, they go camping together, mountain biking, snowboarding. It's just, you know, like living that, that outdoor American life, um, enjoying the seasons, uh, which is something that living here on the Gold Coast in Australia, we don't have seasons. It's basically humid and summer for like nine months of the year. And then it's not summer for like three months. <laughs> it doesn't get cold. It gets cool, but it doesn't get cold. I've seen snow once in my life. So I live my life vicariously through Bryce and Haley a lot. Um, and on top of the fact that, you know, they are warm and genuine, funny, um, and make, you know, like great fun videos. Some of the stuff that they, like the cinematic stuff that they s splice in, like, you know, like B-roll shots in between little scenes that they do, just great. Like that Bryce and Haley are both, you know, amazing at putting, great shots together. Um, one that stands out for me is when Bryce and the boys are skating at Yosemite Park, you know, like chucking ollies and power slides and all sorts of stuff with El Capitan and amazing views in the background. So highly recommend you go and check Bryce and Haley out. Follow them both on Instagram as well. Once again, all of the links to everything are down below. Um, the latest video that they put out, I watched yesterday, is them going ice fishing on a lake which like I said, like with the weather here on the Gold Coast, it's just hot all the time. Ice fishing for me is such a trip. Um, and it's go and watch it and see Haley's reaction when they drive onto the ice. I think it's very similar to what my reaction would be like. All right, on to the next channel. And finally, number five on my list, just so you know, this isn't like in any order. This is just the five, channels that I really like on YouTube. Number five on my list is Will Tennyson. Uh, Will has really, his channel has really exploded up over the last like 18 months or so. Um, I've been following him for around two years. He, the reason that I sort of resonate, that his channel resonates with me is that he lost a lot of weight um, and he had a lot of issues in regards to self-esteem and all sorts of stuff when he was overweight and he lost a lot of weight and has become gone on to become a Gymshark sponsored fitness athlete. Um, as much as it would probably be hilarious to him to hear someone calling him an athlete, but he is sponsored by Gymshark now. So that shows you the transformation that he's made going from fat, overweight, anxious, 
depressed to having a really successful YouTube channel and being sponsored by a massive company like Gymshark. Um, so Will is really super dry, but full-time hilarious as well. Like his videos are so funny. He's got, he, he does like these really funny little intros to every video. And sadly, uh, the little fella that was the main character in all of his intros, uh, Ollie, his dog sadly passed away a few months ago and it was really horrible watching Will talk about that. Um, but if you go back and watch Will's videos from the last few years, you'll see that the channel, uh, there's this ongoing thing in the comments about it being Ollie's channel and Will's just a co-star. Um, so it was really sad when Ollie passed away, but if you go back and watch some of his other videos, you'll, you'll know, you'll see the, the intros with Ollie in them and, and how well Will did with that. Um, since Ollie's sad passing, Will keeps the, uh, the, the short intros going and they're still hilarious. Um, and he's actually just done like this really cool merch drop, which I don't think I'm going to be able to jump on purely because it's probably all sold out by now. And shipping to Australia from North America is just far too expensive for me, but, um, he did Ollie's gym and it was all like Gold's gym, uh, rip off and I'll be so stoked to grab it. But anyway, um, Will does all sorts of challenges. I think that's how he has built his video is by doing these food and fitness challenges. Um, off the top of my head, he's done a, a couple of 20,000 calorie days, which yeah, he's a monster. He can just eat like it's going out of fashion. That's crazy. His ability for putting things in his mouth. If you, you know, um, yeah, he, uh, any king of the big bite as well. Like, I don't know how it fits so much in his mouth, but the man is gifted. What can I say? Um, yeah. So what, what's some other stuff that he's done? Um, I'm pretty sure he did like a day where he tried to burn, burn as many calories as, as he ate. Um, he tried to do some crazy amount of steps in one day. He tries to do like triathlon style stuff at home. And basically his challenges are fun to watch and you're just glad that someone else is doing it so you don't have to. But on top of that, he is uh, super inspirational as well. Um, he's very honest um, about the things that he eats, um, his training regimes, um, his goals and things. Like he's not one of those people who's like, I'm gonna be, you know, like, a card carrying pro bodybuilder or I'm going to be a powerlifter. He's just happy to be in shape and happy to be able to do things in the gym. Um, and he makes a lot of content around the gym. So, um, if you've got any interest in fitness whatsoever, um, definitely go and check out Will's channel. I just find him genuinely hilarious, you know, like regardless of the fitness stuff that goes with it, he's just funny. Um, so yeah, Will Tennyson, go and check him out. Links to everything down below. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy him as much as I do. All right, guys, that's it. That's my top five list of my YouTube channels that I enjoy. Uh, obviously I've subscribed to a lot more video, video channels, um, but that's my top five currently. Uh, I've got links to everything down below. Like I've tried to give all of the creators credit, you know, for all of the little clips and stuff that I've put up throughout this video. Um, if any of them want to get in touch with me, please don't hesitate to get in touch down below. Instagram and everything for me is down there too. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully I can do something else like this next year. You know, maybe the top five YouTubers that I found in 2021. But for now guys, that's gonna be a wrap. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, that lets YouTube know that people enjoy the video and they might show it to someone else somewhere in the world. Uh, so please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I make a lot of content about my strength training journey, weight loss, uh, my dealing with metabolic syndrome, anxiety, and doing some fun stuff to lose weight, skateboarding and some other fun stuff as well. So all of my links are down below as well. Would love for you to follow me on Instagram. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope to see you next year for top five video channels that I found in 2021. Peace, guys. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.